What is the pressure inside a fluid enclosed within a sealed container? To spice things up, let's put it in puzzle form. Consider two containers, A and B, each with the same fluid and no air inside. When we measure the pressure at an equal height above the ground, will the pressure in container A be equal, greater or smaller than the pressure in container B? And what if we put them into space? Well, let's find out. One of the first things we get taught when we learn about pressure is how to calculate it at a specific depth inside a fluid. The formula states that pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure plus the multiplication of the density of the fluid, rho, the gravitational constant, g, and the depth beneath the surface of the fluid, h. And just to be clear, the surface in this case is defined as the interface between the surrounding air and the fluid, and therefore in any specific body of fluid, we can say that the pressure only depends on the depth beneath the surface, h. The deeper you go, the higher the pressure. Let's now consider the fluid inside a container. After we fill the container to the brim, we completely seal it airtight such that no air remains inside and no fluid comes in direct contact with the outside world. Then how does our formula for pressure apply? The first thing to note is that the extra pressure coming from the atmosphere can be dropped. Since our fluid is not in contact with the atmosphere, the extra pressure coming from the billions of air molecules crushing down on the fluid is not present. This seems strange, because you could now imagine that simply closing off a full bottle of water instantaneously reduces the pressure inside. But wouldn't then this violent drop in inside pressure cause the temperature to plummet or result in an imbalanced pressure on the outside of the bottle? Well, these are excellent questions, which I leave to you to think about. This tangent aside, we conclude that the pressure is given by rho times g times h. So we're all done, right? Well, what about this h, the depth beneath the surface? What would be the surface of the fluid, in this case anyway? It stands to reason to take the lid of the container, since it takes the place where the surface was before we closed it. But if we then tilt the container, the distance to the lid does not seem to be a reasonable distance for h anymore. Instead, we could take the vertical distance from our point to the boundary of the container. However, this would mean that by simply tilting the container, the pressure at the exact same point will increase, since this vertical distance has increased. And it turns out that this is indeed the case. But why exactly? Well, to understand why, we remind ourselves what pressure is in the first place. Pressure is the result of the collective collisions of neighboring particles. The magnitude of these collisions is determined by the weight of all of the particles above the measuring point, being pulled down by gravity, pressing down. And that is why the distance h in this formula measures the distance inside the fluid directly above the measuring point. Thus, the h in the pressure formula can be redefined as being the distance from the measuring position to the point furthest away inside the fluid in the direction of the gravitational field. And this solves our problem, but it immediately raises other questions. What is the pressure in the container if we float it into space? Or for that matter, what is the pressure inside a fluid when it is in free fall? These are very interesting questions, and I will leave them to you, and I will address them in future videos. As for now, I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.